Getting the right image for your book cover or book interior is always a difficult task if you don't know how to get it. If you work as a freelancer online or you are a digital marketer, by now you should understand what it means to use someone else's image. That is going to be tagged copyright and it can get your account flagged. So if you are looking for images or pictures or backgrounds to convey a message or depict a scene in your book, this video is for you. Watch till the end as I expose the secrets on how to get free to use AI generated images for your designs. Apart from using Pixabay, Pexels or Unsplash to get royalty free images for your designs, there is another free to use AI image generator that can make your work easier. A couple of hours ago, I uploaded a video that explains how you can design 10 book covers in 10 minutes so you don't spend too much time designing beautiful book covers for your books on Amazon KDP. And this is the video. If you've not seen the video, you need to watch this video now. It is going to change your book cover design game. So in this video, I exposed two different websites where you can get free images to use during your design. But on this website, there are some type of pictures you would never find there. This is why you need another channel to get beautiful pictures that explains your book topic or title better. And to get this, we'll be using Canva. Canva is a web-based graphic design tool that has millions of templates and resources that you can use to design anything you want social media posts business cards logos book covers just name it you can use canva to do all of these for free now canva has taken it a step further and they just introduced a free to use ai image generator so if you're looking for a particular type of image and you cannot find it on all those free websites you can come on canva and use the ai generator to get the image you want by simply typing or explaining the type of image you want into the text to image tool and the AI generator would give you some options to choose from. So for the purpose of this video, we'll be using the book covers I designed in my previous video. So these are the book covers. Now we want to get images for these book covers using the text to image tool on canva now when you're on your design interface by the left hand side you will see a text to image icon just click on it but if you don't see it it means you've never used it before so all you need to do is to click on apps once you click on apps you will see it there text to image as you can see so once you click on text to image it will display this window now all you need to do is to explain the type of picture you want in this box and then click generate it will generate different images for you using the prompts you typed into this box then you can select any of the generated images to use on your book cover design or book interior design and you're never going to have any copyright issues using them let's try something a boy on a bicycle for example so you understand what we're talking about a boy on a bicycle once you explain the kind of picture you want you just scroll down the link to see it's giving us six options it's telling us to select the style we want do you like this style or you like this or you like it as a cartoon or a painting or you like it as a drawing this drawing is good for book interiors you know your book interior is black and white so you should always use black and white images for your book interiors I'm going to do another video on how to create coloring books using this free to use AI generator. But for now, let's get the images that we need for our book covers. So do you want it as a 3D or you want it as a pattern? You select the one you want, 
I want it as a normal photo, so I'll click on this photo. Now, it's asking the aspect ratio. Do you want it as a square image or a landscape image or a portrait image? It depends on what you want, but for me, since I want to use this for a book cover design, I'll prefer it to be in landscape. So I'll just click landscape if I want to do my design. But because this is just an example, let's take it in square shape. So square, you click on square and click generate. Give it about three to five seconds and it will generate the image for you. This tool is a life saver and it is free to use for everybody as long as you have canva as you can see it has given us four different images of a boy riding a bicycle you can just click on it and use it in your design okay so let's input more details into this prompt a boy riding a bicycle on a mountain okay we want it to be a boy riding a bicycle on a mountain so you just click on generate more give it a couple of seconds again and it generates pictures of a boy riding a bicycle on a mountain as you can see you see this is a boy on a mountain they are all pictures of a boy riding a bicycle on a mountain let's click on this one let's say this is the one we want so we just click on it once you click on it it will appear in your design interface so you can use it in your design as you can see this is the one we selected so let us quickly generate images for the book covers we designed yesterday so i'll delete that now the first one here is cancer diet recipes cookbook what do we need i explained yesterday that you can use something like salad recipes vegetables healthy eating all these things can be used for a cancer diet cookbook so let's delete the image we had there before now let's type cancer diet for example cancer diet recipes you just type that and you click generate wait for it and it will generate beautiful images for you as you can see we can use any of these images by simply clicking on them and they will appear on our design interface let's see this one i think i like this or this one let me click this one as you can see just the way we designed it yesterday you just drag it into your design interface like this and you are good we can just reduce this a little as we did yesterday then put something like a square let's use this put it here increase the size like this make it color green and you can write your subtitle in there this is all it takes to get beautiful images to use for your designs so we're done with that i don't want to waste time on it if you want to learn how to design book covers properly check the previous video this video just click on it and watch this video so let's continue now the next one is intermittent fasting remember that yesterday i said if you are talking about intermittent fasting for a woman over the age of 40 you need to put picture of a woman over the age of 40 so that when women over the age of 40 are searching for this book they will relate better with your book cover because they will see that okay this book is talking about old women or women over the age of 40 so let's delete the one we have there before then we go back to our text to image tool and then search for beautiful old women let's try that beautiful old women or woman rather we just need one woman so beautiful old woman when you type that you just scroll down we want a photo this time this time we want it as a portrait because we are using it for our book cover so let's select portraits and then you click generate image as you can see it's already loading is generating our image just give it a few seconds as you can see it has given us some nice pictures that we can use I think I want to start again. I don't like this one. Let me try. Let me get something that is square. So let's say start again. You type that in. Photo. Square. Generate. Give it a little more time. Nice. I prefer this one. I prefer square because we already have our design. Assuming it's a fresh design, then we can use landscape. But we already have our design. All we need here is just an image to use. So let's select this one. I like this one. Click on it. We can move it here like this. The picture of this food can now move to the other side. You know, just increase that a little. 
then send it to back so that it will bring back the picture of the food. You just you can just play with design anyhow you want. You can bring this down, reduce it a little, take this up, put it here, make it color white. Remember the rule: light image on a dark background or dark image on a light background. So let's make that color white. Okay, it's still not showing properly. Let's look for another color. Let's say black. Okay, this is good. If you want, you can put a box under this text so that it will be showing better now you can now decide to change the colors as you want we're not going to do that here because i already showed you how to do that yesterday you can bring this down leave it like this increase this a little increase this a little too like this this 40 you can change the color change all the colors to suit your design and then you are good to go so i've just shown you how to get picture of a beautiful woman to use for this design the next one is dating advice all you need to do is to click on start again and type relationship wait for it and boom we have beautiful pictures that we can use so i'm going to select this one this time so let's delete the one we have before and then bring this into the picture click on it increase it to fill up the space okay this time let's make it landscape because we don't have any picture on the background let's make it landscape click on start again relationship scroll down we want picture and we want landscape then you click on generate image wait for it to generate your images yes we got nice images to use let's click on this one and there you have it on your design you just align it to fill up the page like this and you are good to go as you can see just write your text put your name here remember to always edit image so that it will look attractive so you increase the contrast a little increase the brightness just a little then you can write your text dating you can just add advice for men here you see you can just add it here and this is beautiful let's move on the next one how to get your ex back the same thing you can just type divorce this time let's try divorce you know you're trying to get images of a picture that shows an unhappy relationship or someone not happy in their relationship so you use something like divorce okay if you don't get the kind of picture you want you can click generate more so it will give you more pictures that you can use i think i like this one or this Let's try this. Click on it. It will appear on your design. Then you delete the one you have before. Then you align it to fill up the page just as we did the last time like this. Okay. Then send it to back like this. This is good. You can just change this to color white. This one, you just look for a color that would fit in. You know, let's try black. As you can see, you can now edit this to increase the contrast a little increase the brightness a little too and then this one so you can make it color black it depends on what you're designing and then the text you make it yellow so it will pop this is lovely you don't need to do anything extra to this design so let's continue this is new york travel guide say so start again new york vacation that's what you should use because you're trying to get something that depicts travelers or visitors on vacation so you just go down you want a photo landscape remember then you click on generate wait for it to generate and here you have beautiful pictures of new york so just click on it to appear on your design interface delete the one you had before and then put this to fill up the page okay after filling up the page with it you can now start changing the colors to suit your design you can take this up like this bring the name down here put it here then you can take this up reduce it to be on two lines increase the size like this and use your preferred color or a color that will bring this out something like this just use any color that will bring this out i mean this is okay it shows a street in the new york and like places you can visit on vacation this is good the next one is how to grow your business flower gardening let's do for flower gardening so we can round up this short video you just go straight and search flower garden flower garden and click generate more as you can see all these are pictures that you can use to design a beautiful flower garden book cover 
So this is how you get AI generated images to use for your designs without copyright issues. If you are using a mobile phone for your designs, I'm going to upload this same video for mobile phone users on my TikTok and Instagram. So if you are not following me on TikTok and Instagram, do that right away. I'm going to leave the link in the description down below so that you just click and follow me so that once I upload the video on how to design book covers using AI generated images for mobile phones, you would be notified by any of those social media apps. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it has helped you understand how to get images to use for your designs. Like this video, hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon so that you will get notifications by YouTube anytime I post more awesome videos like this. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.